Welcome back folks, one and all, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights, The Shadows of Undertide. Let's reload the cutscene save I have here. Drogon is awake! It is good to see you back. I feel much recovered. Though my nurse here seems to believe otherwise. Yes, Sean Connery, it's nice to have you back. You should be in bed, you stubborn dwarf. Look at you. Your legs are shaking. The poison has still not completely left your system. Enough, woman! I will not lay about like an invalid if I have the strength to stand. Especially not while one of my pupils has put themselves in danger for our benefit. Suit yourself. Should you collapse before the hour's over, I'll not take responsibility for you. Sure. Hmm. I'll take my chances. Better that than to be prodded by an over-concerned elf all day long. <laughs> Tell me then, how fair is your hunt? Well, it went well. I have all the artifacts now. So you do, so you do. Well done, my boy. Let's see them, shall we? Watch this. This is definitely the tower statue, but it's been broken. And there's something inside of it? How very odd. <laughs> It was accidentally broken by a co the kobold I got it from, but I don't know what's inside it. Broken by a kobold, you say? Hmm. Well, believe it or not, that may have been a fortuitous turn of events. We do not normally go about breaking magic artifacts we find, you see. And so we would not have realized that this statue was a container, not the artifact itself. And inside, a crystal. A crystal giving a far, far more power than we had detected previously. Perhaps the statue itself was shielding the crystal from detection? How interesting. I must admit, however, that I've never seen anything like this before. Is there anything you've learned about this crystal during your adventure, Barry? Only the Janar is seeking it for someone else. But why not why? A true mystery, then. Well, it is no longer safe here. Whoever sent Janar to retrieve it will no doubt try again. I will need to take this crystal someone who knows of such things. And until then, Barry, I think you... Are you certain that is wise, Drogon? Whoever wants this crystal would be keeping an eye out for you, don't you think? They already felled you once. And what do you propose, Alea? I will not huddle in my home out of fear. I simply suggesting that perhaps Barry might be better suited to take this artifact to be identified. No one will be watching him. How can you be sure? How, how sure can you be that no one will be watching for me? We cannot be sure, but it seems safe to say that whoever behind this had no idea of your capabilities before now. I hope that that continues. And truth be told, I suppose I am not fully recovered from this poison. There would be no match for anything they would truly send my way. Your final test is over, dear boy. I am no longer your master. All I can ask you as a peer and proud former tutor is you undertake this dangerous mission. Why not? Sounds like fun. <laughs> I'm glad you see you don't let any of this business get to you. I think you'll do just fine, dear boy. The man you will need to show the crystal to is an old friend of mine by the name of Garrick Halliser. And a... Garrick? I hope this is not the same Garrick that I know from Baldur's Gate. An expert in the field of Duena analysis, as it were. Well, where would I find this Garrick? Ha! <laughs> now that's a good question. I'd assume he slides in the... And rock desert digging up Netherese artifacts. He took the caravan out of Hilltop headed there about a year back. If you're referring to the halfling stroke, and that caravan is in Hilltop now. Truly? That is most fortunate. They might even know exactly where Garrick is then. There you go, Barry. You can travel with the caravan. I will make arrangements for you and the other apprentices to join them. Ayala and I, in the meantime, will contact the Harpers and do what we can. So, are you ready to go, or is there something you need to do beforehand? I need to do something first. Then I suggest you do it quickly. Collect whatever equipment you need, and then come tell either me or the caravan leader when you're ready to leave. Well, I not necessarily need things, it's more the fact that... It's more the fact that I need to save, because inevitably a cutscene will happen, and I'll have to cut it out. Hello! I 
trust you're ready to leave for the desert. Then. Oh, goody, my plate mail is waiting for it. Good. If the gods smile on us, then the situation is not as dire as I fear. If not, well then, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Cutscene time? I think so. Well, goody, that loaded up. I think this spot's gonna have to do for the night. Let's set up camp and make sure it's secure this time, Torius. What? I did. What did I do that would be worthy of such a suspicious tone, I wonder? I have two words to say to you, dear cousin. Bandits and to sleep while on watch. That's more like five words. And besides, I had a full stomach that night. I can't expect a man to stay awake all night after eating a full pot roast, can you? <sighs> Just be careful, will you? Tishan has predicted some trouble that I don't want to take any chances. <laughs> Just know there's always predicting trouble between you and your companions and that odd little kobold we hired on outside of Hilltop. Our group is much larger than it normally is. I'm surprised we haven't drawn more attention by now. Just crossing the desert is completely unbearable. You'll be alright for the night? <laughs> Who say you hired a kobold? I did, haven't you seen it? First impulse was that it wouldn't be a good idea because the trouble we had earlier, but this fellow seemed pretty earnest. Not only that, he seemed pretty desperate to hire on. I'm paying him almost nothing. Although well, his cooking skills are pretty questionable. I suppose you get what you pay for. Is his name Deacon? It is! That's it, I'd almost forgotten. He spends all day with Deshana, so I've barely seen him. He seems to have taken a shine to the creature, oddly enough. Surprised you haven't spotted him. He mentioned you several times when we first spoke. He did? What did he say? There was something about you being a great hero and how he wants to be just like you. It was cute, actually. Maybe I should go speak to him. If you like. You might want to wait until the morning, however, as mostly everyone's retired for the evening. It's up to you. I'll leave you alone, then. You can handle yourself, I'm sure. Just be careful. The desert gets colder than you think during the night, and I don't want and I don't wander too far from the fire. Me and the assistance, Zidane here can help you. He's the guide I heard for us back in the Black Sands. I would be most pleased to help you with whatever, however I'm needed. Yes, well, that's good. As for me, the desert makes me tired and cranky. I'm going to bed. Good night to you. Oh goody, cutscenes. Ready to attack! It's an ambush! Everyone arm yourselves! It's Deacon! Hooray! Oh, oh dear god! Well, this isn't good. Well... Let us say I'm not looking forward to this. Oh god! Come on, Deacon! You and me! Hey, I leveled! Her daughter is out of count. This turned out good, didn't it? Gotcha! You ain't got a chance. Well, at least you're an injured. Well, these things are weird. Grr. Thanks! Whatever that was. Oh no, it's Deacon singing! Don't know, is he in one of the wagons? No, he's not! He was out there fighting, I, I saw him. Damn it anyway, we need him in order to cross the desert. Torius, is there any sign of him? Nope, nothing. He just up and vanished, as near as I can tell. Damn it! I knew this was too good to be true. We can't go anywhere without our guide or we'll be lost for sure. Wait a second, I thought you'd been across this desert before. Yes, of course, but none of us are natives. The Anorak Desert is huge. Unless you want to risk wandering off to your death, you have a guide with you. Let me put it this way, we can head back to Black Sands and hope we don't get lost en route and delay our trip for about a week hiring a new guide. Or you can volunteer yourself to go and look for Zidane and pray to the gods that those stingers haven't torn him apart as late night snack. Your choice. Yeah, 
Well, I'll do what I can. Good. I'm glad that's settled. Should you need any supplies, by the way, I have plenty to sell you now. I have to buy my supplies off you? This is your show, Barry, not mine. I didn't ask you to come along, remember? I have to make a living and not, all gi not give all my goods away for free. With that said, I'm sure I can come up with a reasonable discount for you, seeing as I'd rather see Zidane safe than not. Fair enough? Show me what you have in stock. Sticky fingers, though. I have enough trouble keeping Oh, what? Wow, you sell... Whoa! Cloaks of protection! Well, first let's loot some remains. I suppose I'll heal you. Get back up. Not that I need you for much longer. You may be wondering, why don't I need Dorna for much longer? Well, the answer is simple. There's Deacon right over there. Get up. You're not going to get up, are you? <sighs> get up! You're really not going to get up, are you? Well, no problem. They are just loaded up. Quickly talk to you before combat yes? happens. What do you need? You and me! Let's go! Okay, let's stick with her this time. You and me! Oh, she didn't get me. You're gonna die anyway, aren't you? Come on. This time, she won't die. So I can loot her corpse. Nobody walks away! People run, screaming, going, Where's my mummy? Oh, we did this fight much better than last time. Chasing after poisonous creatures and drawing there in the middle of an unfamiliar desert? Correct, I'm glad we understand each other. Oh, great. So the stingers will know I'm coming. Awesome. It's nice to know that I'm gonna fight an enemy that knows I'm on my way. It's just spiffy. Okay, any more spells for my spell book? When did I become level 7? Oh, no matter. I'm going to... Oh, wow. Yeah, level 7. Fan of that. Big fan of level 7. Oh, bless. I don't know if And a level 0 spell. Woo! So when we come back, folks, we'll rest here. And we will deal with an important aspect of character development. Namely, a small little kobold by the name of Deacon. Trust me, it's quite critically important. So, until then, folks. Until then, I'll catch you later. I'll see you then.